What is up guys, Charlie Pangas here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna to be making t-shirt designs on my phone. I found three t-shirt designer apps that have pretty decent reviews, so we're gonna try them out today and see if they're any good. And maybe I can come up with something that looks decent, I don't know. I'm not expecting a lot out of these apps, to be honest with you guys, because you can only do so much on your phone. These apps are definitely not going to outperform Photoshop or Illustrator or Affinity Designer or anything like that. But if you're somebody that doesn't have a computer and you need to create some t-shirt designs right now, this is probably the way to do it. So let's go ahead and get started and see what's up with these apps. The first one I wanna check out is this one called Yay Print. So right at the bottom it says create design. I'm obviously gonna click that. And then from here I'm gonna try a women's style out. Let's see here. So I'm clicking on it. Immediately I'm presented with all of these templates. Um, I don't like any of them. So what I wanna do is click on blank template. And let's see if we can make some sort of cat design or something, I don't know. Love how this app has layers already. It's really useful to have layers. So the fact that you can work with layers in a app that's on your phone is definitely going to help you out. Um, let's go ahead and click add right there and see what we can come up with. Um, what do I want? I'm gonna check out their image gallery. So it actually does allow you to upload an image, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't want you guys to see all the photos of my phone. All right, so I clicked on image gallery and it has a bunch of different images here. Let's go ahead and click this cat. I'm gonna upload that one. All right, cool, so you can do things like change the color and all that stuff. I can resize it and stuff like that, that's really cool. Um, I'm just gonna keep it right there. Let's go and add one more layer and add some text. I'm gonna type out crazy cat lady, why not? I don't like how it's not a locked uh, proportion, if that makes sense, so you can really just warp it, I don't like that. Two things I don't like about the app already. The first thing is it doesn't have a locked width and height when you're transforming text. So when I go to resize text, I can basically warp it and I don't like that. I want it to be locked so it stays um, proportionate if that makes sense. So I want the width and height to be locked. So every time I resize text, it's gonna look nice and crisp every time. The second thing is you can't arc the text. There's nothing that allows you to do that. This app's okay. I'll give it, out of a five, I'll probably give it like two stars because it, it's a decent editor. You can change the colors. You can add their clip art and stuff like that. But I don't know, I wouldn't use it personally, but some of you might find it useful. Let's move on to the second app now. Man, these names suck. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I don't know who came up with the names for these apps, but they're terrible. The next one we're gonna look at is called O Shirt. Yes, you heard me right, O Shirt. Nothing more creative than that. Anyway, we're gonna check out O Shirt. Um, let's go and add another one, start a new design, yes. Okay, let's go to these unisex styles, start designing. Easy enough. All right, so um, let's go ahead and find some clip art first. So I'm gonna go to Shapes. And let's go to animals, why not? Let's add a bear. And this one does lock the width and height when you're resizing, that's nice. That way it stays proportionate, I love that. Let's go and add some text now. Um, Mad bear, why not? Such a dumb name. Um, I think this one actually does let you arc it. It does. So this one actually lets you add a bend to the text. So I'm gonna click bend and do mid. See, that's already really cool. But is it locked? Yes, it is. So I can't, see, I can't resize the width and height separately. It resizes everything together. That is awesome. See, now I can't warp my text in a weird way. Um, that makes a huge difference. Um, let's go ahead and check the fonts out now. What do I want here? Let's do this Black Ops font. That's kind of cool. Ooh, I like this one. All right, the name sucks, but the tools it gives you is so useful and it already has all this really cool clip art which makes a big difference when you're designing. Huge selection of fonts too which is really useful. This font really works I think so we're gonna stick with it. So now we already have a cool design on our phone and we can use this if we wanted to. I just added a star at the bottom for some reason. I have no idea, it's a little random but this app is so much better than the last one so I give this one a five out of five because um, it allows you to bend text and that's so important when you're creating designs. So I'm gonna say this one is a five out of five. Um, if you guys wanna download it, it's called O Shirt. You really can't forget that. Maybe that's why they came up with this name because it's so hard to forget. This next app is called IRSI. I'm sure a lot of you heard of this one. I'm, I've seen the logo around, but um, let's go and see how much better this one is. Um, let's go to apparel. Carol, let's find a blank shirt. Your design here, that one might be good. All right, so this one allows you to choose the quantity that you wanna print, the color of the shirt and everything like that. That's kind of cool. So this one really sets you up to actually print your design. Does that make sense? So um, I think they're actually trying to get you to print here. 
That's kind of cool though. This app allows you to arc text as well, which is going to be extremely useful for all of you that don't have a computer, but you still want to add cool text effects. This app's going to allow you to do that. So that already is a good sign. Let's go and click on this one right here. That's more of a lower arc. Let's type out artist, artist, bam. And then um, I'm gonna keep the font size and everything the same. Update text. All right, cool, so that's nice. I don't like the color, but we can always change that. So artist, and then let's go ahead and find some art here. They do have a clip art section, which is nice. Let's type in planet and see what we can find here. No, that's not what I want. Art, maybe? Let's type in art. All right, I did find a planet, that's kind of cool. We're gonna click on this gray one, because it matches our text better. And let's just make it bigger. Bam, and I think it should say space on top instead. So I'm, I'm actually changing the text to space instead of artist, because it matches the design a little better. We're gonna drag that one up again. And then if you click on the paint bucket on top, you can change the uh, text color as well. This app's really cool, guys, and you can even design something for the back right here um, just by using the arrows at the bottom. So that is really useful. I like it, I dig this app. I think this one's definitely a five out of five. The last app, I'm gonna give it a four out of five instead. And then the first app, I'm gonna say maybe a one out of five because I don't know, it's just not that good. I think it's the weakest app out of all three. This one's the strongest. So if you guys want a really, really strong design app, I would say this is the one right here. If you wanna print and design merch, this is where it's at. Here's the verdict, guys. If you don't have a computer and you need to design and print some t-shirts, these apps are going to help you do that. But if you have a computer, I would use Photoshop Illustrator or Affinity Designer because those programs are going to yield much higher quality results. That's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. And if you guys wanna learn how to make t-shirt designs, you can watch my last tutorial. It's gonna be somewhere right here on the screen. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep creating and keep being awesome. Catch you later.